So today we're going to look at the latest edition of the Weha Slim Vario range. It's this, it's the Pocket Max. Now we teased this out on social media channels a few weeks ago. If you're following us on TikTok or Instagram, we picked it up at a local trade show and there's been a lot of interest in it. And when there's a lot of interest, Gary, what does that normally lead to? A comment saying, where can I get it from? So what we're going to do, we're going to leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. Now, depending on when you watch this video, it might be you're so early that actually you can pre-order it or it'll be available to buy straight away. Yeah, and I've heard a whiff of special offers going along with that, depending on exactly what time you're uh, watching this video, whether you're in the future or whether you're in the past. So uh, check out that. But this uh, little pocket max, I mean, best way I'd describe it is uh, it's for the traveling electrician. And we've all been there, haven't we? We've been on a holiday and we want to check out the local electrics, don't you? you Apparently want, so, yes. Yeah, you want to be, you take it, possibly look in the local fuse box or consume unit behind the socket just to see what the wiring's like and see how things are done in that part of the world. And this, this little screwdriver, you can sneak inside your wash bag, you know, a bit of contraband from the family that they don't know you're working when you're on holiday. And yeah, that's what I think it's for really, Gary. Yeah, I'm sure it is. And Mrs. Armus love those trips you take her away as you're whiffing off to obviously have a look inside a consumer unit or a socket outlet. But let's not delay any longer. Let's look at the Weha Pocket Max. Okay, so the, the Pocket Max is a development of a product that we've seen on the channel before. And it's the Weha Pop-Up that has this mechanical mechanism. So if I push these tabs in here, you'll see that six uh, slim vario bits appear from the top uh, and then close down, held in place with those uh, latches at the side. This, I think, is a step forward because this mechanism here is magnetic. Ooh, just that's nice, that. isn't it? Everyone, yeah. likes a, everyone likes a resounding click. Uh, and you'll see inside, uh, there's the magnet. And again, just smoothly goes in and, and you can't get that out. You can shake that around. It's, it's firmly in place. But when you do uh, open it up, you'll see there's four slim vario bits, so common ones you might use in electrical installation. There's a 3.5mm uh, flathead, there's a Philips 2, a slotted posi 2, and a Philips 1 inside there. Uh, another little uh, useful feature, I'll just take one of these bits out, again pop our magnetic cover back on, click that into place, is you can actually rotate it with the... Uh, in the palm of your hand. Oh right, okay, nice, yeah, making it a little and bit more comfortable doing the undoing and tightening up of screws, yeah. Yeah, if you're doing repetitive work, that can be uh, a great feature. And then when you're done, again, just put the uh, put the bits back inside and then uh, snap shut with the, uh, with the magnet. Now, the great thing about these slim vario bits, it is common across a vast range of screwdrivers. Now here on the bench, we've got the, uh, the, uh, the biggest set in that range that has almost every screwdriver bit you could ever need and some, uh, and some obviously nut runners as well. And we put our torque screwdriver in that box as well, Gary, don't we? Yeah, and the torque screwdriver brings us back to that whole series we've done on torque the torque, including a CPD. And if you haven't already checked those out, we'll also leave a link for those in the description below as well. So I think it's uh, time to do an install with this, but we don't do any installs anymore, do we? Now we've got Rick, and he's over in unit two. Shall we go and see what he's up to? So you will notice the vacuum cleaner is poised for action as soon as this job is finished and we're ready to clean up. He's more of a broom man. I've seen him that many times in the workshop with a broom. I thought he was auditioning for the British curling team. Well, first out of the blocks on the Weha Pocket Max is the three and a half millimeter flathead screwdriver bit that we're going to use on these dolly switches that we've sneaked into an adaptable box as part of our LED strip installation in our industrial inspired kitchen. And if you're really careful, you just see a little bit of mineral insulated cable there poking out the top as we're making those final connections but we're changing it over now because we're going to go over to the Philips one in order to make the connections to the LED driver. Yeah and this, uh, the driver itself has got uh, the Philips head uh, in the terminal blocks and also for the uh, cord grip we're not actually going to use the cord grip as a cord grip in this scenario here because it's inside the uh, adaptable box but it just shows the adaptability of the screwdriver. And throughout this little bit of the video we're going to see three of the four different slim vario heads that are held within the handle of this screwdriver as well so now we go for the third one so as we pop it over there's something really satisfying about separating the two and obviously changing over now to the Philips two two before returning it back into the handle. So find that Phillips two, pop it out, and then just push it back into position. But this is the bit we all like. Yeah, it really is, this is a really tactile tool. I mean, I've been messing around with this ever since we've had it. You just sort of, yeah, you keep clicking it together. It's like clicking a wag or terminal together. It's just like a fidget spinner, really. Okay, the fidget spinner of screwdrivers. So we're packing it away now. So of course it's the Pocket Max. So it's gonna return back into that pocket before we turn on the LED strip and see our handiwork has been completed. So on it goes. Great install. 
Look at that mineral insulated cable, beautiful. Yeah, I think Rick likes that screwdriver. I've had to prize it back out of his hands to finish uh, this review. Uh, and while we're on the topic of screwdriver as well, there is a mechanical version here as well that looks uh, okay, pretty so similar. Look. Um, and it's, you know, the handle size is exactly the same. Uh, but inside, again, same magnetic mechanism, you'll see there's eight standard screwdriver bits there. Okay, yeah. And again, it's got that magnetic latching. Now, people ask us a lot, can you use the, um, the insulated slim barrier bits in, in these sort of standard uh, screwdriver heads? And you can't. So these are made smaller deliberately so you can't put a mechanical bit uninsulated into an insulated screwdriver. Okay, that makes sense. So you'll notice that, yes, they do fit in, but obviously they're just that little bit smaller. And, and that's the thing about this, uh, the, uh, the slim burial bits. Uh, but I think whether you're new to the range and you, and you don't have this extensive selection we have, I still think there's some great advantages of buying this and some additional bits and when it comes to EV chargers. As you're opening up our Zaptec EV charger, I always think these have got loads of different heads in here, haven't they? Yeah, there's, and we've found this a lot with uh, EV chargers, particularly ones that come from Norway. We tend to use a lot of Torx head screwdrivers, and out here we've got the T10 bit fitted uh, to the screwdriver, uh, obviously to get this cover off so we can get inside of the terminals, which are using a four millimeter hex uh, head. Um, so in the past, when we first started dealing with these, we had to buy some additional bits. And I think if, you, if you're not using them all the time, it's a good idea to have somewhere safe to keep them, which I think inside this Pocket Max is a great, uh, great place to keep them, you know, if you don't have the full Weha kit, just for a occasional use. So you're thinking there is to perhaps swap out a couple of the bits that come as standard within the handle and put these ones in that you're going to be using for that EV charger then? Yeah, exactly. But that's got us covered with the EV. Let's do some of those technical bits. Overall length with the Slim Vario bit in is 17 centimetres. And you can tell by picking it up, it doesn't weigh much. It's only 127 grams and it's rated up to 1,000 volts AC. Yeah, and tested to 10,000 volts AC. Not that we're suggesting you should use it on a medium voltage network. And the interesting thing is about that length, Gary, as well. I'm just about to do this with the mechanical version. Uh, uninsulated is the same uh, length. A little bit depends on the, on the bit you're using. It's the same across the... Uh, oh, right, okay, exactly the same length. length. Yeah, and that's uh, a yeah, nice, uh, nice little addition. And, and that lightweight, Gary, yeah, it's ideal, as I said earlier, ideal for your travel baggage. However, putting a screwdriver on the carry-on baggage, probably not the best advice in the world. So if you want to get your hands on this Weha Pocket Max, remember, we've left a link for it in the description, so that's one of the questions I won't have to answer. However, have you got any feedback because you already own one? Please leave that comment below. Are you now thinking of getting one? You've got some applications where you think it's going to save you some time, not suggesting that you're going to be taking yours on holiday like Gordon. Please leave them below, and we'll get back to as many as we can. And I'll let you know how we get on with this when I'm on holiday.